Today's video is going to be on the 2017 KTM Super Duke 1290R. If you never heard of the 1290R, then you've been living under a rock. Back in 2013, KTM released the beast known to us as the Super Duke 1290R. So what makes this bike so special? Well, there's many reasons, but the main one is torque. We'll get into the numbers later, but this bike is by far one of the most torquiest bikes you can buy on the market. And for that, and among many other reasons, it has been crowned the king of the naked bikes. So let's talk about the 2017, and let's compare it to the older generation. I'm going to break this video up into four sections. First, we're going to look at the looks and features, then we're going to talk about the engine and weight specifications and changes, then move on to the brakes and suspension, and then finally we'll talk about the technology and optional equipment. And then after that, I will give my opinions on the bike. So let's jump right into the looks here. KTM has changed the headlight into a more modern LED headlight and has daytime run-in lights that were updated. The whole front end looks crazy, like something out of an alien movie. They also changed up the bodywork to make it look even sharper than before by adding tank spoilers and a new air intakes. The handlebars are also slightly wider and have been moved further forward to give this bike better handling for sport riding. You can also have this bike in any color you want, as long as it's black. So now we discuss everybody's favorite topic, power which the old KTM was not lacking at all. However, the new 1290R has increased the horsepower out of its 1301cc V-twin engine from 170 brake horsepower up to 177 brake horsepower. Torque has been also improved to 103 foot-pound, which last year it only had 99 foot-pound. Not only is this engine stronger, but it's also smoother as well, thanks to some tweaks that KTM had made to the resonator and other small adjustments. All of this is possible thanks to the following changes. 10 mm shorter intake flanges, which is responsible for widening the power band by 500 RPMs. The new titanium inlet valves, which have increased the compression ratio to 13.6 to 1. They also weigh just 19 grams less than the older steel valves. Updated resonator chambers to the cylinder head, which will help polish the torque in the lower to mid-range RPMs. The new powertrain runs smoother altogether, which will result in less fuel consumption and better emissions, which I know we all care so much about. The exhaust system is all new and is made entirely from stainless steel and is Euro 4 compliant. Don't worry, you can still rip it off and add your Acra exhaust later. The new revised ride-by-wire system will supposedly remove any choking, jolting, or involuntary wheelies. Don't worry guys, you can still do your voluntary wheelies all day long. A new slipper clutch has also been added, which will help prevent locking up the rear wheel when downshifting or during decelerations, but will also make the clutch an effortless one-finger pull. The crankshaft has also been revised as well to be more stable and free revving. Forged pistons have been added which will reduce friction and be more reliable. If you guys are interested, here's the specs right here on the screen. I'm not going to name them all off, you guys can read. There's no mentions of weight changes this year, so we can expect it to weigh in at around 471 pounds wet. Suspension upgrades include a new 48mm upside down WP shock and stiffer fork springs. For an overall adjusted sportier settings, these are adjustable for rebound and compression dampening so you can reduce the sportiness of them. The WP shock is also new and gets a heavier spring as well. The front 320mm dual discs with radial mount Brembo 4 piston calipers and the rear 240mm Brembo 2 piston calipers remain unchanged for this year as well. But that's okay because these brakes are more than adequate to stop this bike. So now let's talk about the technology. KTM has updated its Bosch powered motorcycle stability control system, which now offers multi stage and lean angle sensitive ABS and traction control, as well as a supermoto mode, which allows you to disable ABS in the rear altogether so you could slide that rear end out. The new 1290 will also feature a brand new full color TFT unit that provides tons of information. From this one picture I have here, you can see there's the speedometer, the gear indicator, an RPM gauge, and it looks like a coolant meter and a gas meter as well. Other than that, it seems pretty plain Jane to me. Cruise control has also been added along with the new keyless system. KTM has also announced an optional performance package. This will include a quick shifter, motion slip regulation, KTM MyRide, which allows you to connect your phone to your 1290, and lastly it adds Track Pack, which includes a track mode rider setting, which allows you to kill the wheelie control, traction control, slip adjust, and launch control. So here's my thoughts and feelings of the new KTM 1290R. Looks wise, this KTM is brilliant. 
I've always enjoyed the looks of the Super Duke, but having the updated to the tank and the spoilers and the new LED headlight, it just makes an already great design look even better. Although KTM has made the ride more sporty and less comfortable, I suppose, it is still going to be a really comfortable bike that is more than capable in the twisties. I kind of wish that the TFT display included a lean angle, brake meter, and an acceleration meter, kind of like the RSV4 and the R1. And another thing too with the TFT display, it really does look kind of plain. Uh, I mean, honestly, I'd kind of prefer the gauges over the TFT display if it's going to look like this. KTM hasn't even released an official picture of the TFT display, so I'm not going to really judge them too much on it until they do that. But if it looks like it does in this video, which I'm pretty sure it does, then I, I'm going to say that it's kind of nothing special and I, I don't know, just not a fan of it. So in conclusion, this bike is going to be a torquey wheelie machine just like its older model and I will foresee this bike winning the super naked bike shootout like it has many times before. If you enjoyed this video then please leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, I make a new video every single week. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care and bye bye.